Hi viewers, today we are going to see the topic of musculoskeletal system. Try to watch up to the end, we sure you will get more tips to crack 10 out of 10 in 20,000 series. Which includes the notes of, how to manage the time, how to find the main term to solve very big question very quickly, with sample of CPC questions. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe us to get the instant updates. Before going to our today lesson, let's see the simple overview about AAPC and CPC certification syllabus. Coding Credentialing Organization By AAPC AAPC is the world's largest training and credentialing organization for the business of healthcare. CPC, Certified Professional Coder the most recognized medical coding certification in the healthcare industry for both hospitals and physician practices. This is overview of CPC certification syllabus. If you want to know more about AAPC certification including CPC certificate as well as the syllabus in detail, please look into our first CPC lesson. To watch that first lesson, please check the link in this video description. Or directly click our channel icon. In this CPC certification syllabus, today we are going to learn surgery, especially musculoskeletal system, the code ranges are 20,000 series. In which we may expect to get some around 10 questions in CPC exam. These are the anatomical region is included in 20,000 series. It is very easiest topic, but most of the question will be very big. Even you can able to answer 10 question within 5 minutes based on the following coding tips. 1. Fracture care. 2. Wound exploration. 3. Trigger point injection. 4. Excision with repair. 5. Arthrocentesis. 6. Spine procedures. 7. Scopic versus surgical procedure, for example arthroscopy. 8. Cast application. Fracture care. It is classified into three. 1. Closed treatment, 2. Open treatment, 3. Percutaneous treatment. The closed treatment is further classified into two. 1. With manipulation, 2. Without manipulation. The alternative term for manipulation is reduction. Let's see the example codes. These are the code series for closed, open and percutaneous treatment for humeral condylar fracture. The same thing it followed for other fracture. Let's see the coding tips. Number 1. Don't go by the type of fracture, code only based on type of treatment. Example, patient having open fracture. Provider done closed treatment without manipulation. That time you need to code only based on treatment. So the answer will be closed treatment. Number 2. Identify the type of treatment whether closed, open, or percutaneous. Number 3. Identify the fracture site, then lead the appropriate code. Let's see the example for better understanding. Guess it what will be the answer. You can use the below code references. Yes correct the answer is option B let's see how to solve this question very easily. In this template is very easy, it applicable for all other sections. That means here you no need to read complete question. Directly read the type of procedure. Here the procedure is open reduction and internal fixation of right scaphoid fracture. So it means as open treatment. So we can eliminate option A and D based on open treatment, and also can eliminate option C based on the fracture site. If it is normal template means, based on this two term we can conform as open fracture because incision it's nothing but opening. Wound exploration. Example, penetrating gunshot and stab wound. These codes describe surgical exploration and enlargement of the wound, extension of dissection, to determine penetration, debridement, removal of foreign body, ligation or coagulation of minor subcutaneous or muscular blood vessel, of the subcutaneous tissue, muscle fascia, or muscle, not requiring thoracotomy or laparotomy. That means except thoracotomy and laparotomy all procedures are included in it. We can bill thoracotomy or laparotomy separately, if done along with this wound exploration. These are the code series for wound exploration. Let's see the coding tips. 
Number 1. Identify whether the wound is penetrating wound, like gunshot or by sharp object, for example, knife. Number 2. Check whether thoracotomy or laparotomy done or not. If yes, code separately. Number 3. Eliminate the option where other procedure like surgical exploration and enlargement of the wound, extension of dissection, to determine penetration, debridement, removal of foreign body, ligation or coagulation. Let's see the example for better understanding. Guess it what will be the answer. You can use the below code references. Yes correct the answer is option C let's see how to solve this question very easily. As per the coding tips first we need to identify whether the wound is penetrating wound to code it as wound exploration. Then we need to identify whether thoracotomy or laparotomy done or not. Here they not done either thoracotomy or laparotomy. So only one code is enough, because everything is included in it. So we can eliminate the option A and B directly. And the site was back, so we can eliminate the option D so the final answer is C. Trigger Point Injection A trigger point injection is an injection that is given directly into the trigger point for pain management. The injection may be an anesthetic. Let's see the coding tips. First count the number of muscle, where the injection was given. Don T count number of injection. These are the code series for trigger point injection. Let's see the example for better understanding. Guess it what will be the answer. You can use the below code references. Yes correct the answer is option C let's see how to solve this question very easily. This is injection procedure so we can eliminate the option D. As per the coding tips first we need to identify number of muscle, not injection count. So here the injection given at 4 muscle. So we can eliminate option A, as well as B. Please look carefully, here the people will do mistakes, because both answer B and C looks like a same. If you see the code description of 20553 is 3 or more muscles. So only one code is enough. You should not multiply by 4, because that applicable only if the term which mentioned in the code description as code each. Otherwise no need code, once it enough. Excision with repair. Excision is a surgical procedure used to remove moles, cysts, skin cancer, and other skin growths. Repair is the closer of wound. In integumentary system, the simple repair is included with excision procedure for same site. The other intermediate and complex repair we need to code separately. But in musculoskeletal system, both the intermediate and simple repair are included for same site. So while coding two series CPT, musculoskeletal, you should not code one series, integumentary, for same site. Let's see the coding tips. Number 1. Identify whether the excision made up to muscle level or not, example sarcoma, lipoma, soft tissue mass or lesion. Number 2. Identify the purpose of excision whether for biopsy or removal. Number 3. Eliminate the one series, intermediate or simple repair code for same site. Number 4. Lead the code based on the depth, in centimeter. Let's see the example for better understanding. Guess it what will be the answer. You can use the below code references. Yes correct the answer is option B let's see how to solve this question very easily. This is excision procedure, so we can eliminate the option A, and D the procedure was done at subcutaneous layer. So we can eliminate the option C so the final answer will be B. Let's see one more example for better understanding. Guess it what will be the answer. You can use the below code references. Yes correct the answer is option B let's see how to solve this question very easily. Here two procedure was done, number 1, biopsy for shoulder. Number 2, excision for hand. So we need to report two codes, so we can eliminate the option C and D here the main difference in A and B is 11401 and 11421. The excision procedure done at hand. So we can eliminate the option A the final answer is B. Arthrocentesis Arthrocentesis is the clinical procedure of using a syringe to collect synovial fluid from a joint capsule. 
It is also known as joint aspiration. Let's see the code for better understanding. Here the arthrocentesis procedure are sub-classified into three based on type of joint, such as small joint, intermediate and large joint. The further sub-classified based on guidance. Let's see in detail. Here 20600 which denotes for without guidance and 20604 which denotes for ultrasound guidance. Moreover see the notes below to the code where 76942 ultrasound guidance code should not report with 20604. Because, it is already included in 20604 which mentioned in description as with ultrasound guidance. If any other guidance done means, like fluoroscopy, CT, MRI we should code the respective guidance code separately with without guidance code. For example the notes below to the 77002 mentioned as 77002 should use only with 20600, 20605, 20610. So whenever you get confused, see the guidelines or notes which mentioned below and above to the code. Let's see the coding tips. Number 1. Identify the joint whether minor or intermediate or major joint. Number 2. Identify whether it is done by using with or without guidance. Number 3. If with guidance, means use the appropriate code for guidance. Number 4. Always see the notes below to the code, to lead the correct answer without careless error. Let's see the example for better understanding. Guess it what will be the answer. You can use the below code references. Yes correct the answer is option C let's see how to solve this question very easily. Here arthrocentesis was done in right shoulder, so we can eliminate the option A and D as per the guidelines, we need to report fluoroscopic guidance separately. So we can eliminate option B so the final answer is C. Spine procedures. Whatever the spine procedure, we can answer very easily based on the following coding tips. Same thing it applicable for 6 series spine procedure also. So see carefully for the coding tips. Identify the type of procedure. Identify the approach, like posterior, anterior. Identify the site, like cervical, lumbar. Count the number of segment or interspace. Let's see the small calculation to count the number of segment or interspace. Example C2 to C5. For segment you need to split like C2, C3, C4, C5. So the final sum is 4. For interspace you need to split like C2 to C3, C3 to C4, C4 to C5. So the final sum is 3. Use 51 modifier while coding multiple procedure on same site. Example, laminectomy with arthrotesis. Let's see the example for better understanding. Guess it what will be the answer. You can use the below code references. Yes correct the answer is option C let's see how to solve this question very easily. As per the coding tips, first we need to identify the procedure, here the procedure is arthrotesis. Then identify the approach or technique, here the posterior interbody technique was done. So we can eliminate the option A, B and D so the final answer is C it was two code, because here three interspace are there. Splint and cast. A splint is defined as a rigid or flexible device used to keep an injured body part, broken bone, from moving and to protect it from any further damage. Casts also help to prevent or decrease muscle contractions, and are effective at providing immobilization, especially after surgery. Let's see the coding tips. In split, there are three types only there. One short arm, two. Long arm, three finger splint. So code accordingly. Then code based on static or dynamic splint. Cast. Number 1. Don T code cast for major procedure, because it's already included in it. Example, treatment for fracture. Number 2. Code cast for minor procedures. Example, treatment for a sprain. Scopic versus surgical procedure, example. Arthroscopy. Arthroscopy is a surgical procedure orthopedic surgeons use to visualize, diagnose, and treat problems inside a joint. 
In this area you will get some twisted question, so be careful on this. Let's see some scenarios. Number 1. The provider will do a procedure by open incision or by using scopy. So you need to code accordingly. The alternative name to identify whether is scopic procedure or not is trochier, video acetine device or camera. Number 2. The physician initiated for scopic procedure, but because of some reason he might be discontinued the scopic procedure, and proceeded surgical procedure. That time, we need to report only surgical procedure, we should not report scopic procedure. We hope this video tutorial is more helpful for you to crack the CPC exam. To watch the rest of lesson check the link in this video description or click our channel icon to get the playlist name as, CPC Certification Training, where you will get all the notes for CPC exam. PPMP Creative System If you like this video give thumbs up, for more updates, please subscribe us. And also, your feedback is more valuable for us, please comment your feedback or any succession or if you want any more clarification also. Thank you for watching. Stay connect with us for more updates. See you on our next video with more informative and interesting topics.